Tusa County Public Schools is located along the Tennessee border in extreme northwest Georgia. Catoosa County is considered the gateway to Georgia because many travelers enter the state on heavily traveled Interstate 75. Catoosa County is approximately 15 minutes south of Chattanooga, Tennessee, and is in within a two-hour drive of Atlanta, Georgia, Birmingham, Alabama, and Knoxville, Tennessee. Catoosa County is primarily a residential community with a commuter workforce, and the quality of Catoosa County Public Schools has been cited as one of the reasons to live in the county and travel the 20-minute commute to Chattanooga to work. Catoosa County Public Schools currently serves 10,613 students, ranking the system as the 36th largest in the state. With enrollment in excess of 10,000, Catoosa County is considered a large school system in the state of Georgia. The system consists of 16 traditional schools, the Performance Learning Center, which is an alternative high school, and the Catoosa Online Academy. With 50% of CCPS's students receiving free and reduced lunch, one of the challenges the system faces is the significant difference in socioeconomic status in the school district's attendance zones. Because of this diversity, CCPS has been very successful utilizing the flexibility afforded as a Georgia charter system since 2016. Georgia charter systems operate under a contract between the State Board of Education and the local school district. The flexibility of charter system status and additional charter system funding allows each school to implement programs that benefit their specific student demographic. For example, one elementary school has a high poverty rate and is a leader in me school. This program teaches leadership and life skills that students may not learn at home. And the program creates a culture of student empowerment based on the idea that every child can be a leader. In partnership with Georgia Northwestern Technical College, the system launched the first College and Career Academy cohort in Mechatronics in August of 2019. In this past fall, the community celebrated the groundbreaking for the From Here to Career Academy that will open with seven additional pathways in 2023. CCPS used the stakeholder-driven strategic planning and education model to engage stakeholders in developing the system's 2022-27 to Catoosa Connects strategic plan. In April of 2021, the planning process began with stakeholder surveys, which indicated that student achievement and college and career preparedness were the primary areas of stakeholder concern. The newly implemented strategic plan reflects the community's expectations for CCPS and provides a clear direction for student achievement, innovations that reflect a commitment to K-12 college and career preparation, and effective operations. All district and school level decisions for student achievement and resource allocations are aligned with stakeholder expectations and the system's strategic plan objectives. The plan is monitored, the board is updated, and the updated plan is maintained on eBoard for stakeholder review. To demonstrate how the system is addressing stakeholder priorities and strategic plan goals, I will present our program offerings and student expectations as they relate to our belief statements. We believe in doing what's best for children, every day, without exception. We understand that doing what's best for children is comprehensive and must extend beyond the traditional school day. We take a whole child approach by intentionally and systematically engaging parents, stakeholders, community services, and business partners to provide resources to support students so they can be successful. The district is fortunate to partner with communities and schools of Catoosa County to provide wraparound services for students and families. One of their programs, Parents as Teachers, serves families throughout pregnancy until a child enters kindergarten. The Student Success Center at LFO High School is another example of CIS services for students where they have access to a food pantry, a clothes closet, job interview clothing, hygiene products, and a washer and dryer. Parent involvement coordinators and academic coaches host meetings to help parents understand how to interpret reading and math benchmark scores and to support their child's learning. Catoosa County Public Schools also has a very active and supportive partnership program, which provides student mentors 
and supports community service projects for students. A significant project is packing 1,300 snack packs for nourishing children in Catoosa to provide additional food during the weekend for food insecure families. Catoosa County Public Schools also has a unique financial support program, the Catoosa County Children's Fund. The Children's Fund assists families with short-term financial needs in an effort to keep students in school and support children's physical, mental, emotional health and welfare. Every Catoosa County school has school counselors, resource officers, and nurses. The system also provides mental health integration through an interconnected systems framework which integrates PBIS and mental health services to improve outcomes for children and youth. We believe it is our responsibility to individualize instruction to help each student reach his or her maximum potential. In 2017, the district implemented the Professional Learning Communities at Work model throughout the district by cultivating teams built on trust and focusing on student and adult learning. Being a professional learning community, the teams, schools, and system use a variety of benchmark and formative assessments to evaluate student achievement and allow teachers to individualize instruction. CCPS teachers in elementary, middle, and high school meet weekly in collaborative teams, and extended learning times are built into the master schedule to support students' individual needs. We believe our classrooms and schools must be physically and emotionally safe. CCPS is recognized in the state for safe and well-maintained schools. The district has partnered with the Sheriff's Office for almost 30 years to provide school resource officers in all secondary schools. The district added five additional officers in 2018 to be shared by the district's 10 elementary schools. Additionally, the Silox Crisis Lockdown Alert Status System is installed in every school for emergency notifications and to enable communications with first responders and the Sheriff's Office in the event of a crisis. In addition to physical safety, we understand that it is our responsibility to students and parents for students to feel emotionally safe at school. The Georgia Department of Education established a STAR rating system as a component of the College and Career Ready Performance Index Accountability System. STAR ratings are calculated using data from student, personnel, and parent surveys in addition to student discipline and attendance data. In 2018, CCPS achieved a perfect five-star rating in every school in the district, and that rating has been maintained. We believe the school system must partner with parents and the community. The CCPS Board of Education is committed to listening to the community. Public participation is on every agenda prior to board meetings, and community engagement meetings are held prior to important decisions. The new From Here to Career Academy is another example of the system's commitment to partnering with businesses and the community. The Academy has a 20-member board of directors, with a majority representing business and industry, who make decisions for the school. Each pathway in the Academy has an advisory committee who determines curriculum, pacing, projects, and evaluation measures. We believe excellence is the standard, and we have a responsibility to support our employees so they can achieve this goal. The Board of Education is committed to the highest level of excellence. They have completed the work to earn the Georgia School Boards Association Exemplary Board status since 2015. There are 181 school districts in the state, and our board is one of 60 systems who were recognized with this distinction in 2021. Solution Tree recognizes high-performing schools as model professional learning communities. Model PLCs must demonstrate commitment to the PLC at work concepts, implement those concepts for at least three years, present clear evidence of improved student learning, and provide annual data that confirms continued commitment to the PLC at work process. Solution Tree has recognized 369 model PLCs in the United States and 29 in Georgia. Catoosa County Public Schools has 13 model PLC schools and the school district was the first model PLC district in the state. We believe we are responsible to the community to be good stewards of taxpayer resources. In 20 years, CCPS has only raised the military rate twice. The first increase was in 2007 due to a downturn in the economy. 
After years of substantial reductions in QBE funding, the Board of Education raised the millage rate again in 2013. But once again, the Board took the rollback every year and the 2021 millage rate was less than the 2002 rate. To celebrate our success in achieving stakeholder priorities and system goals, I will share a few of our significant accomplishments. Our system's graduation rate increased from 85.5% in 2016 to 88.2% .2 in 2021, which exceeds the state rate by over 4%. In 2019, Catoosa County Public Schools was awarded a $3 million grant to build the From Here to Career Academy. Charter system flexibility has allowed the system to implement innovative initiatives such as Catoosa U, which allows high school students to earn credit while working and being paid as a technology service tech in the district's high schools. The Charter System Foundation has requested the Catoosa U initiative be presented at several conferences and meetings. In March of 2021, the community overwhelmingly passed the 6th Education Special Purpose Local Option Sales Tax to fund a performance auditorium at LFO High School, the From Here to Career College and Career Academy, and an expansion of Boynton Elementary along with new school buses. The system has partnered with REACH Georgia to award $10,000 scholarships to academically promising 8th grade students who are economically disadvantaged. In 2020, the Heritage High School Lady General softball team won their third consecutive 4A state championship, and the Ringgold High School Lady Tigers softball team won their second consecutive AAA state championship. Based on our current status, our next steps to continue providing an exemplary public education include the system will formalize support for new teachers and strengthen the current instructional support provided by our academic coaches with a focus on effective research practices. In CCPS, the attrition rate for certified employees is less than 6%. The attrition rate for classified employees is over 17%. To improve the effectiveness of classified staff and to reduce the expense associated with turnover, the system will review salary schedules and improve recruiting and training of these employees. Based on stakeholder input, CCPS will implement new charter system innovations to increase college and career awareness and planning for grades K through 12. The system will enhance career counseling programs to support our students in the area of career awareness, personal growth, and positive self-image so CCPS graduates will have the tools necessary to make informed career choices and good life decisions. We are very proud in Catoosa County Public Schools to have a reputation in our region for providing an excellent public education. I am confident that we have earned this reputation because of our employees' commitment to serving every child, every day, without exception.